So I'm out at uh, Jackton Distillery uh, and I'm talking to Janie Keane, who's the director of uh, Rare Whiskey. Um, Janie, uh, we've just been chatting about the uh, DRS scheme. So what issues has that been for you? So our biggest issue is the fact that this bottle has been considered a single use item. We've spent a lot of time trying to make the most beautiful product. We spend a lot of money trying to make a good product that goes inside the bottle as well. Our biggest issue with this scheme is that it's been considered the same we use consider a can of Coca-Cola that you would drink and then maybe some people would toss aside. Our intention was that people would bring the bottles back to us and then we could refill them and reuse them at our own facility. We've invested all this money into having a refillable scheme. Being forced into this program, we're not going to be able to do that anymore because for every bottle that we don't return to ourselves, put into the scheme, they smash, they don't even reuse the glass, yeah. they're going to charge us fees on that and they're going to charge us the VAT on that. So it's not just a 20p that's gone, it's a 20p plus the fees because no one returned my glass and I didn't smash it and return it to their scheme. What's the potential cost to your business for being part of the scheme? It, it is easily thousands. The biggest concern is that they can't even answer questions with regards to funding, regards to getting the fees charged out to us, with regards to what scheme articles are considered, they can't even answer the simple questions. We can't even work out exactly how much it is going to cost us. So they're forcing us to say out to a contract where we have no actual idea how much this could cost us. Because yeah. our glass is printed on, this yeah. whole thing gets redecorated. We have thousands of bottles of this already waiting for production. Okay. So we can't just dispose of all those glasses. If Lorna Slater bothered to speak to small producers like you, what would you have to say to her? I would say I'm really disappointed because I'm a young woman and I'm trying to build a really ecological business. I'm trying to make something that's really good for the environment. I really do care about the environment. Getting to glasses are like our goals. With this scheme, they're absolutely damaging our ability to do that. I would tell her that it's very hypocritical and I don't think they actually care about the environment. Jamie, thanks a lot. So the message is to Laura Slater, she needs to listen to small producers like this with the lifeblood of Scotland.